Hi, ladies. Welcome to my weekly live on you on YouTube. I'm Julie Gilson, and I'm with StampinGala.com. I'm really happy that you're here, and I made some cards that I think um, will get everyone ready for summer. Um, I think they're so pretty. In fact, I'm, I'm telling you, they do not look the same um, on camera as they do in person. In person, they're beautiful. I'm going to see if I can move the um, lights around to see if it helps any, but um, maybe maybe that's a little bit better. But I'm telling you, these um, projects are just simply beautiful. I um, used today the Beach Day stamp set, well, Beach Day bundle, and this is being carried over to the new catalog. So um, no sweat there, it's still available. And I'm also using the Everyday Detail dies, okay? The colors I'm using are, the base is Pool Party. I have Lemon Lime Twist, Costa Cabana, um, Crumb Cake, and White. And also I created this DSP, okay? So I'll show you how to do that as well. But before I get started with that, I do want to tell you there's just um, a couple more days to register for my Create a la carte for April, and it is um, using the Latte Love bundle. And what it includes are the five cards you see here. And let me see, here's the last one. And it also includes a full roll of ribbon, a half a package of the DSP, and a half a package of the gemstones. Um, let me open this and show you real quick inside. It, it holds four of the um, K cups. It also includes um, a PDF and shipping free, uh, shipping with that. So it's $42 and um, you can register at stampingala.com. If you go to my blog after this presentation, at the top there's a link or a, a tab for create a la carte. If you click on that, um, you'll find it. It'll tell you everything you need to do. And then I just want to point out to you that I did post my um, In Color Club and how the In Color Club works. I'll know that there's five In Colors every year. And so there's a lot of new products to go along with that. A lot of people want them all, but they don't want to spend all the money all at once to get it. So this allows you to get all the products and at the end of five months, you'll have all the colors. So how it works is each month you get a full set of just one color. So if you were to join, let's say your first month, you might it might be Summer Splash. You get a full package of cardstock. You get the blends markers. You also get the um, ink pad. You get a full roll of ribbon. You also get the... Um, a fifth, the color that's for you for that month for both with both of these. You get the re-inker. You also get the DSP for your color. Um, I just have two other things that I don't have that I didn't grab. The stamp and write marker you would receive, and also the 12 by 12 glimmer paper in your color. It costs $66 plus shipping, and I would bill you. Um, the first of every month, and then it shipped out um, the 15th of the month. So as soon as I get the payments, I purchase all the product, separate it, and get it out to you. In addition to that, you get a gift from me every month. So um, if you're interested in that, um, let me know. I can send you the link to sign up. Just send me an email to julie48188 at gmail.com, and I'll send you a link for it. Just let me know that you need the link. Okay. All right. So again, here are the projects and aren't they adorable? Look at this cute little skate uh, surfboard. And then the inside has two matching umbrellas. I think it's adorable. And then this one here. And then finally, this little tree um, it holds the six of these Merci um, chocolates and they fit in there perfectly. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to show you how to do this paper and um, we'll grab this real quick and we'll get rolling.
Okay, so first of all, we have, oh, and um, if you are new, please let us know that you're new so we can give you a warm welcome. And if you're returning, um, thank you for, for being here with me. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you spending the week with, uh, the night with me every Thursday night. It's really, um, it's an honor to have you here. All right, so this is pool party and it is 11 by four and a quarter and it scored at five and a half. So we're just gonna use our bone folder to fold that over. Now, next we're gonna take a piece of lemon lime twist and this is five by three and three quarters. And we're gonna put this together. And this is just gonna be glued on right to the front. And you'll just get it centered really nicely. I'm really excited. I One of my friends that has been following me for a while, and she's was formerly with Close to My Heart, and it looks like she's on here. She joined my team today, and she is um, going to build a business, and she already has a few recruits. So, ladies, if you're interested in... Um, in joining my team, I would love to have you. And if you're close to my heart um, demonstrator with no place to go, we'd love to have you as well. Okay, so this is um, pool party and I just inked up uh, one of our blending brushes and I'm gonna make it darker on the bottom. Let me get some more. And this is kind of just gonna be like water. So reach out to me if you're interested. We would love to have you. In fact, I'm meeting with some of the new Close to My Heart people on Saturday. And if you are on my team and you would like to join us on Zoom, um, let me know. We'd love to have you as well, just for some training. Okay, so now I'm, I'm just doing it a little bit lighter up here. Okay, and a little darker down here. Now, if I wanted to, I could add another color like Coastal Cabana for another, another um, a little bit darker. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my embossing folder. And I love how they have this line on here because you can line this up and it, you know that it's straight if you put it right against that line. And I always put it face down on the line. Okay. So I'm going to just crank this. Let me bring my big shot in. And I'm going to crank it through. I can't do this ahead of time because it's because of the ink. Uh, thanks, Jerry. All right. Hey, Dawn. All right, so we're going to put this on together. That's one of my favorite embossing folders. Okay, so we have now, we have a piece of Coastal Cabana. And when I cut this, I cut it correctly, but um, the embossing folder has the little grooves that go up and down. So it makes it shrink a little bit and sometimes not so evenly. So I'm going to put this together. And I'm gonna trim it off a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to um, put this down. But before I do that, I have two pieces of scrap here. This is scrap um, cr um, crumb cake. And I ran it through the Big Shot, or I, I still call it Big Shot, um, with the splatters embossing folder. So it's going to be the sand. So what I'm going to do 
this is, I believe it's three and a quarter. Let me make sure before oh, three and yeah, three and a quarter before I cut it. All right. So I'm just going to turn it over so I have a straight edge. Okay. So let me see. I have another piece that I can add if I want a second layer. So let me see how it looks. The first card, I didn't do that, but this one I might. Um, I really don't think it needs it. So I'm just going to leave it like this. So here you go. I'm going to put glue on here. Uh, thanks, Nicole. And if you notice, I don't have the glue here. And there's a reason for that. And I'll tell you in just a second. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to put it on dimensionals. Let me grab my dimensionals. Okay, so it's going to go on right here. Oops, almost put it on upside down, ladies. Have you all done that before? <laughs> okay, so, so far so good, right? Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I made um, this little DSP. So let me just grab, I'm just grabbing a piece of um, white paper. Okay, and I have some markers here. Let me show you what I have. I have Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly. This is the new um, dark um, Summer Splash. We have the light Summer Splash and Pool Party Light and Dark. Okay, so I'm just going to take this marker and I'm just going to just make some lines on it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I'm going to take the light one. All right, so let me go with some Lemon Lime Twist. And while I'm at it, I'm going to show you something else, too. This is a Lemon Lolly. And see how I'm going over it, too? And this is going to be the darkest one. And this is the... Um, summer splash and I only want a little bit of this and then go back with the with this um, pool party light and see when I go over it it blends it Okay, and while I'm at it, I'm going to take my um, lemon lime twist and I'm just going to scribble. In a few spots, okay. I'm going to come back and scribble some more. Okay, that should be good enough. And let me get this out of the way because I do need to bring something in here. Let me grab my dies. Okay, this is the one for the, um, these are the two you put together for the um, palm tree. And then over here is the one for the um, surfboard. 
But in addition to that, I also have, let me see if I um, made, did enough. I have one made already. Is this the one? Nope. nope. I'll do that one later. Okay. So let me pull in my, my die cutting machine again. Okay. And this time I need different plates. And my plates are pretty well beat up, but that's okay. They're well loved. Okay, so we're gonna oops, we're gonna put this on here. And if you notice, I always like to have my um, my stripes go in a certain way. When they're on an angle, I like them to go from left to right. I'm very picky about that. Okay, so we're gonna cut these out just like that. And the thing about it is if it isn't the right color when you get it done, if it's not dark enough, we can take the marker again and just add to it. So let me get this out of the way. And we're gonna be working with these pieces. Okay, let me get settled here. Bring my card back in. Okay, so I like to kind of place everything together first so that I um, see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to take one of the surfboards and I'm sliding it in right there. Okay. The other one, I'm going to put on dimensionals right there. Okay. We're going to build the, the two palm trees. So let me get these in. Okay. So what I did, I just used some glue dots to put them together. And all I did, let's see. Get a couple of glue dots off of here. I'm going to take, let me see, was this? No, that was the bottom one. I'm going to take this one right here. They are slightly different, but it really wouldn't matter. I just hooked it together with a glue dot in the center. And this is done with lemon lime twist, but I wanted two different shades of green. All right, and the same thing here. So... I'm going to put, grab this one. Do I have a glue dot on here? Nope. I'm just putting it in the center of the, the leaves here. There, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to just play with this a second to see where I want them. Okay. So I'm going to do this one first, and this one is going to go under here. I just want to make sure I have it placed correctly. Looks like it needs to come up just a little bit. And you know how some of the palm trees are kind of every which way. So that looks good. And then this one right here, I'm going to cross and put right here, but I want it lower. So I'm going to push it down some like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is stick a little bit of glue on the back of this one, and that's going to go down here, but it is going to be higher and on an angle. And then this one, I'm going to put on dimensionals. Thank you, Dorothy. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so this one I'm going to do about right here. So they're kind of like stuck in the sand. 
Okay, so pulling these back out again. Now this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put glue on each end on the back. That way I can handle it in the center and I won't get glue all over everything. And when I get it done, I will come back and add some glue under here. All right, so we're gonna go here and I'm gonna put this right here. And this one is gonna go on dimensionals. So I'm just gonna have one dimensional on the back and I'm gonna place it like that. Okay, so this one again, I'm gonna go here just like that. So it looks good. I'm gonna put glue on the bottom and on the top on the back. So I have somewhere to handle it. It's going to slide under here. And remember, I want this one lower. All right, so then this one is going to go on glue with glue. Did I put that on with glue? Actually, I put this one on with dimensionals. So I'll do that. Sorry about that. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so see, I know this is a yellowish looking palm tree, but I think it looks pretty. Okay, all right, so let's see what else we have to do here. All right, we need a piece of scrap paper because we're going to stamp a little beach ball, and we're stamping this, and we're going to use Coastal Cabana. Okay, let me get this stuff. It's a tiny little beach ball. Okay. All right, so we're going to do some coloring. We're taking the pool party light. All right. Um, the pool party dark. And the lemon lime twist. Okay. And there is a die in the set here. It's just a small little circle right here. And I die cut it and it came out looking like this, okay? So this is gonna go on right here, okay? I just thought it needed a little something right here. Oh, I wanna make sure I get it, yeah, like that. Okay, so far so good. All right, so now, that's okay, April, I'm glad you're here. Okay, so now I'm gonna stamp the um, Enjoy Today. And this is also, I'm using all the sentiments from the, the set. Perfect. Okay, just cut this off. I'm going to trim this. I want it a little bit slimmer. Okay, that's perfect. All right, we're going to do some trimming. We're going to trim it up like this and like this. All right, bringing this back in, I'm going to put this right here on a dimensional. We're just going to put the dimensional on this end only because only because um, 
the palm tree already has a dimensional. See, just like that. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so now I have some linen thread. And I like the linen thread because it kind of looks, I don't know, beachy. So I'm going to do a double bow. So this time we're going to just start like this and do a figure eight and come straight down. We're going to cut it off. And then this end we're going to put through here. We're catching it with my thumb. See? And we're just picking up the piece on the thumb. Okay, so now we have a double bow. And I like to separate these a little bit. And I like it that it looks kind of wild. So I'm not going to cut all the curly cues off. It's still going to look a little wild because I like it like that. Okay, so we're going to put this on with a glue dot. Okay, so there you go. Here is the outside of your first card. So we're going to do the inside now. And let me see. All right, so we have two pieces of basic white. So the smaller one of the two, we're going to stamp happy birthday on. I'm going to stamp it at the top or towards the top. So ladies, if you like what you see, please make sure you give me a thumbs up and share my video. It really does help me get to a large, larger audience and um, helps me to continue doing what I'm doing every week. Okay, so I got happy birthday stamped and we're going to put these two together. And ladies, my retreat for the fall is sold out completely. If you would like to be on the waiting list, you are welcome to send me an email and I can put you on a waiting list. Because sometimes there are things that happen and people have to cancel. Or I also do the retreat to go. So if you're interested in that, let me know as well. It does sell out fast and this time we even added, I think, 12 spots. I begged and pleaded with the, um, <laughs> with the hotel to give me extra spots. Okay, so we're going to put this inside. I do have my cruise open for booking, and that's going in February, February 16th. It's the Eastern Caribbean. And I think we have three days at sea, and that's when we'll be crafting. So if you're interested in that, you can let me know as well. Okay, so my original had this on here, just like this. Okay, but I could, I could do a solid. I don't know if I like that, though. No, I'm going to keep it how it is. Okay, so I'm going to just put glue on here. And that's going to go here. And this will tie the front to the inside, which I always like to do. Okay. So there you have it. Here is your first project for today. I hope you like these ladies. Okay. Let me just clean this up and then we'll be ready to move on. Okay, let me show you the second card. This is the second one. I just think it is so cute. Now I know why I was thinking that it was um, glued instead of dimensionals, because this one is, that's how I did it. So let me grab my second card. Mm.
Okay. So this time it is the other orientation. So let me grab this. Now this again is pool party and it is um, five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Okay. This is a really fun card. I mean, I know that there aren't blue and yellow um, <laughs> palm trees, but I think they look cute. Okay. So we have a piece of granny apple. Oh, no, not granny apple green. This is lemon lime twist. Ladies, don't forget the last chance sale is going on too. So it is on my Facebook page and it also went out in my newsletter. So there are things up to 60% off. So it's a nice way of double dipping. And if you would like these make and takes, all you have to do is place an order by Sunday using this host code and you'll get these make and takes in the mail from me. So um, it's a great way to get some sale items and get some projects to work on as well. Okay, so then we have a piece of Coastal Cabana and a piece of basic white that was already embossed. And I'm gonna put these two together, okay? Let me trim this off just a little bit. Okay. All right, so this is going to go on dimensionals here. Need to cut some of these apart. Okay, this is going to go on here. I love, love, love these colors together. They look so beachy and summery. Okay, I did um, color up some of the paper and I die cut using the, oh, I used, is that the right one? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to put this down right here. Now, I did this one straight up and down. I would prefer it on an angle, but it's okay. All right, so we're going to glue this down. And I did it the same way I did the um, surfboards. Okay, so we're putting it about right here. Okay, and I shouldn't have put the glue on the top. So I'm not going to push down on that. Okay. So let me get, um, this is a piece of just basic white and we're going to stamp happy birthday and I hope I can get it in here correctly. All right. Oops. It's upside down. Hopefully... There's enough room. If not, I'm going to do it one more time. Move it down some. I think I cut the paper a tad bit smaller. That's better. I like that. Okay. So... We're just going to trim this off, and I tell you, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not um, getting any particular size. Just making it even from side to side. And then I'm taking a piece of granny apple green. I, why am I saying granny apple green? This is 
lemon lime twist just like that and i'm going to make it even on two sides i'm going to glue it down Okay, and you could use your scissors. It would be really easy to trim, but since I have my little trimmer here, I'm just doing it this way. Perfect. Okay. So this is going to go on here, but we're going to wait for that for a couple of minutes, okay? First of all, we're going to go ahead and build these um, our little things here. So let me see. We'll go like that. So we need the glue dots again. So let me get one of these. There's that. We'll do this one. And then this one. And since I have this, I may as well do the one for the inside as well. And that one will be done. Just put it aside. All right. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this one first and slide this in here and see if it works. And this one will be up on dimensionals. So that looks pretty good. So we're going to put some glue on here and glue on the top, slide this under and make sure it's like in the middle, okay? Now this one will be on a dimensional. Hey Gail, thank you. All right, so we're going to just do this right here. All right. Now this one is going to go in here, and we are just going to tear a little bit off the bottom. Okay. So we don't have to worry about it fitting correctly. And this one is going to go like this. And this one is going to be put on with glue. That's why I was messed up earlier. Okay. And then the last one, again, we're going to tear off about three-eighths of an inch off the bottom or a half inch. And put some glue on either end. And this one is going to go here with some glue. Oh, it worked out perfectly. Okay, and then this will go on here on dimensionals. But now I want to make sure I secure that a little bit. So I'm just going to take this little piece of scrap paper, put some glue on the end, slide it under here, and just swipe it. And that way, it'll be glued down. See? All right, so this is going to have some dimensionals. 
And I'm just going to put a little strip of them. And it's going to go right here. Isn't that cute? All right. So we're going to grab the linen thread and do a double bow. I love this linen thread. It's great for masculine cards as well. It's curling up so much I can't get it to go through right. There we go. Did I get it? Yeah. Ladies, you can comment. <laughs> You're all so quiet. Okay, and again, separate them a little bit. I'm going to trim off the ends a tiny bit. Grab my glue dots. It's been raining like crazy here today. You guys can probably hear the sump pump going like crazy. All right, and this is going to go right there. Is that so cute? Who wouldn't want this card delivered to their house? It's so happy. Okay, so for the inside, we're going to bring in our basic white paper. And we're also going, going to stamp. We're going to stamp. Since the outside says happy birthday, we're going to say enjoy your day on the inside. I'm going to stamp it over here. Now, a lot of times I'll have pieces on my desk, extra pieces that maybe I die cut one, an extra one or an extra two. Instead of just letting them go to waste, I'll use them. Let me see if I can. That seemed a little okay. I'll use them on the inside of a card and it just adds a little bit. And I'll show you what I mean. That's better. Just a tad bit off. Um, sometimes I do, Terry. Um, not all the time, but yeah, I do a lot. I'll, sometimes I'll stamp and sometimes I'll use DSP. Okay, so this is going down right here, and we're going to have to trim it off a little bit on the end. Thank you, Susan. Okay, so on the inside, we're going to go... I'm going to put one of these here. And this I don't have to be really particular because I don't need it to balance or, you know, um, I'm not competing with other ones. But I am going to add something else on here. Okay, and then this time I'm going to add this with glue. And I want to add glue in different spots since it is on the inside. Okay. All right. And then I did have an extra little um, surfboard. So I could add this on here if I wanted to. I think I will. <laughs> That's funny, Nicole. Okay. All right. So this is going to go on the inside here. And 
And ladies, don't forget to use the host code if you want these projects mailed to your house. Um, it has to be a $40 minimum order, and then I mail you the make and takes for these projects. But you have to use this host code by Sunday. Okay, so here is your second project. What do you think? Which card do you like better, the first one or the second one? Okay, and then finally, um, we're going to make this little treat holder. All right? All right, so let me grab that stuff. Okay, so this piece is three and three quarters by six. And on the six inch side, it's scored at two and two and three quarters. And on the three and three quarters inch side, it's scored at three quarters and three. Okay. All right. And then I want to show you something as well. Okay. So I'm also go going to take a ruler. And I'm going to make a little mark. Let me get a pencil. Okay, I'm just going to come down from the side that the opposite side of where I scored it to. So this has a longer tab here. So I'm going to um, put a tiny little mark at one and a quarter. So there and also on this side. I'm just coming down one and a quarter. Okay, just enough to, to, so you can see it. So I am going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut from there to there. So just like that. Okay. And I'll just erase that off barely see it but okay and then I'm gonna make these a tab and I'll show you when I'm done what it looks like so I'm going up to the intersecting score line and just making a tab there Oh my goodness, Jerry, I just saw your your post. I'll keep you in my prayers for sure. Okay, so it looks like this. So what we're going to do is fold these in, and I'm just going to put a little dot of glue on here, and we're going to connect it to the, the larger back, the one with the slant on it. Okay, and I just do that so that these aren't, flapping around and loose and then it the stuff that you put inside gets hung up on them so this way they're nice and secure now I'm putting some glue on the inside of these tabs and just folding them down and this is why I wanted it at one and a quarter because it, it's exactly where it comes together okay all right, so I have a couple of things here. I have a piece of lemon lime twist and a piece of basic white that I embossed. The lemon lime twist is um, looks like two by two and by one and three quarters, and then this is um, one and seven eighths by one and five eighths. And I'm going to put these two together.
April, I, I will also keep you in my prayers. It's scary having surgery. Okay, so we're going to put some glue on the back of this and put it down on our project here. Okay, now let me grab the candy. I just got this at Target, okay, and this little um, treat holder will hold six of these. So what I did, you can lay them in here just like that. Oh, I want to put that the other way. And then the ones on top. There you go. And this looks... Okay. All right. So then I have a two inch circle that I just punched out and this is um, Coastal Cabana. And then let me see, I have, I just used that same paper that I created with the markers and I die cut one using the this die right here from the everyday details. So we're going to put these two together. Okay. And before I put this on, what I'm going to do, I like to put the dimensionals in this case right on my project here so I know it's going to be where I want it. All right. Now, I don't want this going, the lines going straight across. I want them on an angle like this. Okay. So I'm going to put this just like this. Okay. All right. And then I have one of the trunks for the, the palm tree. We're gonna this time we're gonna put some of the glue in the middle because that's where it's gonna be best um, adhered. All right, we have two of the little palm trees here. Um, so I'm gonna grab my glue dots. and put this together. And I'm gonna grab a dimensional. Okay, look how cute that is so far. All right, we're gonna stamp Enjoy Today again. Ladies, don't forget to give me a heads up if you like this video. And um, please share it with your friends. I really would appreciate it. And in fact, right when I'm off of this video, I'm meeting with somebody to sign her up for my team. She was a close to my heart person. And I'm thrilled that she chose me and um, a friend of hers to be her upline. It's always nice. Okay. Let me see how this looks. That looks perfect. Okay, we're going to cut this on an angle. Cut this one on an angle as well and then we're going to put a dimensional on here i go through dim dimensionals like crazy hi vicky i'm glad you like that i think it turned out really really cute 
Okay, and we're going to do a bow. So, ladies, don't forget, um, Monday is the last day to sign up for my Create a la Carte class um, for the Cafe, um, what, no, Latte Love. You can find it under Create a la Carte on my blog right here at stampinggala.com. Also, my um, In Color Gl Club is in full swing. Oh, shoot, I messed up here. Hold on one second. And I do want to mention that um, this weekend I'll be putting together the information for the paper sh and ribbon share. So if you're interested in getting all the DSP and ribbon, um, hold on because I will have a paper share for you. Thanks, Cheryl. Cheryl is my newest um, team member. And she came to close to my from close to my heart. And I'm excited to have her and work with her. Okay, so this is gonna go here. And it stuck to my finger instead of the ribbon. So I'm just going to stick it down here. Stick this on. And um, let me see. I did have, here they are, these little gems. I'm going to stick one on here. It just looks so pretty. So, ladies, here are the projects for today. I hope you like them. This, um, I really enjoyed making them. And I've had this for a while. I've had this set for a while, and I just didn't um, go, you know, create with it. And I'm so glad I did because it was so fun, so easy. And because it's so um, summery, it makes you feel good as well. So ladies, again, thank you so much for joining me today. As always, I really appreciate you and I appreciate the opportunity to earn your business. It's, I feel it's a privilege that you um, take your time to uh, spend with me on a Thursday night. Thanks so much. Have a great night. Bye-bye.